So here we are standing on the edge of Loch Lomond, um, not far from the Endrick mouth. Um, and at the start of RSPB Loch Lomond Reserve, which is part of Loch Lomond National Nature Reserve, this has got to be one of the best places in Loch Lomond for wildlife, especially things like osprey, which are always something that people are keen to see. But we've also got some very special habitats here, including some woodland, some ancient oak woodland, which plays host to a whole number of species at this time of year, um, including wood warblers and red starts. And then as you go back into the reserve a bit further, you'll actually get some really special areas of wildflower meadow and fen and bog, um, with lots and lots of protection because of the amazing wildlife that can be found there. One of the areas of the site has over 120 species of flowering plant. Um, we've also got some really unusual beetles and bugs, so there's lots and lots of things for everybody to see. The Forestry Commission have brought cattle to manage some of the open habitats in and around the new native woodlands that we're creating, and also to manage some of the existing woodlands to make sure that all the open habitats and the woodland fringes are managed in the best possible way for the species of wildlife that we have here. So we're using cattle for a number of different reasons and in different habitats. Some of our habitats are upland heath and we, we graze them with the cattle in the summer to make sure that the heather doesn't get too long and to keep it in good vegetative state for species such as grouse. We're also managing woodland fringes for other birds such as uh, snipe that will make the most of invertebrates in the cattle dung and also small mammals as well as the small birds who will also utilise the invertebrate populations in the cattle dung. Each of these animals can actually produce as much as three to four tonnes of dung every year and that will support an invertebrate population of double that weight uh, each year which is a really really important part of the natural ecosystem up here. We're also standing in an area just now um, around the fringe of a woodland which is in recent years been taken over by bracken which is an invasive species. In a situation like this we're grazing the cattle to try and trample up the, the bracken and through the winter that allows frost into the rhizomes of the plant and breaks them up and stops the spread of the bracken through the woodland. All in all the cattle are helping us to manage a number of different habitats for a number of different wildlife species. So you know a little bit about the RSPB, the kind of work we do to protect wildlife. You know that a lot of it is having nature reserves and we actually have two in the national park. So there's Inversnade, which we're going to visit today. We've just had a boatload of people over from Tarbit come to the RSPB reserve here and uh, Rita, our events officer, is taking them round on a, a walk around our nature trail, showing them some of the sights and sounds that you hear during the summer here. Today we're going to try and look for migratory birds. Another very interesting one is the tree pipit. We'll see it do its little display flight, which is really, really interesting. On the reserve here we have a few star species. We've got a pied flycatcher and tree pipit, and these migrants that spend a lot of their time in Africa and come back here and breed during the summer. Over in the moorland area we have black grouse, and there's also two golden eagle territories that overlap the reserve. It's a, a very special place with lots of rich habitat for a variety of species. Mm -hmm. 